Hello everybody and welcome back to my travel vlog. Um, I have been having a blast here in Disneyland and California Adventures. Um, it's super, super busy. I came at like grad night or something like that. So there are tons and tons of like high school graduates and stuff. So the park is definitely way busier than like it should be. Um, the only kind of saving grace is the last couple of days have been actually quite uh, cloudy and even kind of rain today. So it was kind of more low key than normal, I guess. Um, but yeah, I've just been having an absolute blast here. I'm sorry I haven't been like taking any footage or anything like that just because I have a honking iPad and that's the only kind of device I have. Hopefully in the future I'll be able to get like a kind of a vlogging camera, you know, with like a good kind of stick and stuff. So there is something, I don't know if this is super new or anything like that, but there is um, this ride that I went on and I really wanted to tell you guys about it because I just had such a fun time and I know that this is kind of right up all your guys' alley. So it was this attraction called The Void, Star Wars, Secrets of the Empire. And I'm not too sure, I think that like The Void, like the company that does it, and then just specifically right now, uh, the attraction is Star Wars. So they used to have things like apparently they have like alien invasion or something like that But right now it's Star Wars specifically the virtual reality experience So you have this visor helmet, you know, you got sound system and everything like that in there You got a microphone you got this huge honking heavy backpack that was like cutting off the circulation of my arms and um, you also have kind of like your vest and stuff like that and um so you don't have any gloves or anything on your feet or anything like that. So it's an immersive virtual reality game and everything is like interactive. It has like, you know, fire, heat, you know, even has like electricity that shocks you and stuff. So when you look in front of you, you see your fingers moving to the point when everyone in our group, there was like four people in our group and like we could finger each other and we didn't have any gloves on or anything like that. So there must've been like sensors all around or something, but we could see our fingers, we would look around and we look at each other, you're stormtroopers. So for example, if you're walking through a tunnel and it's like, oh, buttons on the walls and everything, you feel the wall, you feel the buttons, everything is real. You feel everything. Well, K2SO was there, you know, the character from Star Wars, and he was talking and stuff, you know, he looked like virtual reality, he looked pretty realistic, and when you reach out, you can touch him, I, like he's there. It's just so mind blowing. And then all of a sudden you're looking around in the room and you see like this gun rack, and it looks, you know, it looks like you're playing a video game. So you go up to it and I grab the gun and then I see the gun like in front of me and I, when I'm shooting, I actually see everything that I'm shooting, you know? And like the, you have like the blaster, kind of lava worm things. And when they're coming towards you, you feel the heat. So you feel like heat coming at you and everything. So it's just like sensory overload because you're seeing everything, but yeah, you're actually feeling it. I enjoyed it more than everything in the Disney park, more than the everything in the California park, definitely the Star Wars void. Um, experience was by far the best thing that I've been on and it was about $30 per person. So the whole experience was about 30 minutes in total at the beginning you know you have to kind of get your mission and stuff and you gotta get suited up and then you gotta go um, and complete this mission. I actually looked it up where this stuff is in Anaheim so here in Disneyland it's in Las Vegas at the Venetian it's in Glendale um, it's in Orlando and it's also in London. It crosses the line of a video game to the point where you actually feel like there's consequences I think that best sums it up of how weird it feels because you feel I don't want to step over that edge I want to kill this thing I want to make sure I don't get hit to the point where you're like crouching down and you're like shooting and stuff and it's just so fun and to be able to you know kind of look over your shoulder and you see all your kind of group members there you know all the other stormtroopers it's just such a fun time so I just wanted to know if any of you guys have tried this uh, Star Wars the void experience. Did you guys like it? Did you not really like it? Some things that I really felt that could have been improved though um, When I came out I kind of thought that there maybe was like a score You know kind of thing because we were shooting a lot of people, you know a lot of like other uh, Stormtroopers and stuff and all those bugs and whatnot, you know And I thought kind of we were gonna get a score at the end, but we didn't so I think it would have been kind of cool if there was a score I'm just saying that this technology has just the potential to completely change the future of gaming in terms of these centers so you know how um, you know those escape rooms or whatever you know how those are kind of becoming more common everywhere now you know before it was like oh there's an escape room you know in that city it's like the only one but now they're kind of like popping up everywhere I really hope that the new kind of fad are these VR experience games um, and, I, and I hope that they branch out to things like zombies and like World War II and stuff like that or you know 
even Lord of the Rings, you know, like other kind of franchises and whatnot would be really, really cool. Heck, even like Jurassic Park would be pretty awesome, like Jurassic World. I just had so much fun and I just had to tell you guys about it. And I was actually just interested to know if any of you guys already did this because I actually didn't know about it until I saw it. So it's pretty interesting. So I hope that maybe um, some of you guys maybe might go check that out. But yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Um, I am headed to Universal Studios tomorrow. So that will be my last day in California. And then I'm booking it back home probably doing like the i5 um and hurrying home to muffin because i'm very homesick and i really miss muffin a lot so i hope you guys are all doing well and i'm excited to get home and get back to doing some of my normal videos because these vlogs are kind of hard because i feel like they're not really the best quality of video it's just me kind of ranting about what i've been doing during the day so please remember to like comment and subscribe i come with new videos every wednesday and saturday unless if i get invited for chinese food so thank you guys so much for watching and stay legendary